Hello and good evening, graduating students, staff and faculty, family and friends. My name is Madison Schmelz. Yeah. <laughs> My journey began in the Ventura Hospital parking lot where I was born in the back of a Jeep to a single mother. I admired my mom for doing everything she could to provide for my older brother and I. She inspired me to never give up and showed me that it's possible to overcome any obstacle. <clears throat> when I was 12, she got married to someone with five children and moved us to live with him and his family in Mesa, Arizona. I struggled with the transition and from abruptly moving without being able to say goodbye to friends. I began to use drugs and get in trouble at school. Eventually, I was expelled from all public schools. A charter high school gave me my final chance at earning a diploma. I started doing better thanks to individual attention and a faculty that genuinely cared about their students. I got sober initially at 15 and started working two jobs. Then, the summer before my final year of high school, I relapsed and was hospitalized for the first time because of psychosis and was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. My teachers helped me greatly and I was able to graduate as valedictorian at 16 after only two and a half years of study. I started college right away, but lacked the drive and motivation that my former school had brought out in me. A few months later, my mom divorced her abusive husband and asked me to move back to Thousand Oaks, California with her. I decided to give up my scholarship so I could help my mom to start over and pay her bills with intentions of re-enrolling in college soon. I was doing okay for a year until I had another bipolar episode and was hospitalized, which caused me to lose my jobs that I had obtained. A few months later, we moved to Camarillo an unknown area where we found low-income apartments in a good community. I found a few places to work within walking distance and started saving for a car so that I could go back to school. I became involved with someone who wasn't good for me, and life as I knew it was about to change. Circumstances out of my control landed me in jail, and I had about two and a half months to think about the path I was headed down. At 19, I decided to get sober and began going to Alcoholics Anonymous meetings. I also started going back to I started going to massage school in Santa Barbara that summer and would take the bus there and back twice a week but didn't finish my requirements to be licensed at that time. I began attending Moore Park College in the spring but was only able to earn four credits in my total two years of attendance. I was having trouble at work and was continually getting with medical withdrawals from my classes. I ended up applying for state disability and after I was approved, I lost hope in ever being successful or believing that I could do something with my life. It wasn't until I met my husband, Billy, in the rooms of AA that I really began to have hope in the future once again. Together we were forced to be reckoned with. We volunteered at youth rehabs and sponsored others who were struggling and helped to change their lives. I will now have five years sober on May 3rd this year. <laughs> After dating for a year, we were married and had our own challenges to overcome that first year. We'd been on our own for about six months when he lost his job. I had already had an appointment with Charter College at that time to talk about their medical assistance program. I was told that my background and jail visit would make me unable to get a job in the health field. My husband was with me in the meeting and he noticed that the school offered degrees in business management. He suggested we both enroll and pursue our dreams of becoming entrepreneurs and owning our own businesses. It was in that moment that everything that had happened in life seemed to be leading us to this very purpose, and everything fell in place making it possible for us to begin this voyage. During my time here at Charter College, I had grown immensely. The classes helped me to develop the necessary skills businesses are looking for to succeed in the workforce. More than that though, I've learned about myself. Countless projects and assignments offered open topics where I was able to choose what I researched, allowing me to find my own voice. I've grown as a result of pushing past my comfort zone. At times in the past, I doubted my capabilities and have struggled with my emotions. I couldn't have overcome these hurdles without having student success, to, student success to turn to. They were there for me and were always so understanding. Our own campus president, Dr. B, listens when I go to her for guidance and helps me with my issues. This past summer, I was told that I would need a surgery that would leave me unable to have children. My husband and I decided to try and get pregnant while I was able to, putting off the surgery and potentially putting my health at risk. This also meant I had to get off my bipolar medications that part of the fetus and I would need to quit smoking. I was terrified of being hospitalized, but our charter college family was more than supportive. Some days have been harder than others, and the staff have helped me to find strength in time of need. They continue to remind me of the big picture, and of things that drove me personally. Somehow I managed to receive dean's lifts and, <coughs> dean's lifts and perfect attendance during most of my time here thanks to the help from Lori Tucker and my husband Billy Schmeltz pushing me. 
making it possible to earn my associate's degree in business management. After the Christmas break, we were re-enrolled in our bachelor's program, and a week later we found out that we're pregnant. We're expecting our new addition on September 18th. I wouldn't have been able to come this far without this amazing staff and faculty here at Charter College. Thank you, Mr. Dawson, for creating this school. I want to express my appreciation for it being able to help so many students. After starting this journey of getting my degree eight years ago, I finally reached my goal. As the late Nelson Mandela said, and I quote, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. I am ready to go out there and make a difference in this world, and I hope you will all do the same. We truly can make this world a better place. Thank you.